All right, so selling shoes. Uh, you saw in the video a few days ago, today, whatever it was, whatever day you're watching this, that I was gonna begin selling shoes on eBay. Um, and it's going well. You know, I bought some polish. I went to Walmart and bought this little kit here. It was like $9. Polished up the shoes. But what I realized is on these right here, I saw, I, you saw earlier, I had like five pairs of Cole Haan shoes. I, I ended up going out um, and getting more of them. They're all four bucks. But these right here, look at that. The, um, the stitching is coming loose on these leather shoes, which sucks, right? Who wants, you know, garbage leather shoes? Um, so learning that but what i also learned is that a little bit of shoe polish goes a <laughs> a very long way um i remember these shoes right here they were in some pretty haggard condition that the brand is fry these might have actually been new shoes i just got at a goodwill for like four bucks um yeah 3.99 for these shoes the leather was just all beat up and a, a simple just um you know once over with this color shine stuff really made them look good uh and so i'm really curious what i'm gonna do for these first shoes you, you see here i'm just gonna list a few i've got my you know this is our, our gonna be the ebay listing station uh at least for now um what we're gonna do is just list them as 99 cents plus shipping and that's because like i said earlier i want to get a, a good idea of how much these are worth like at a very basic just like okay we got to liquidate all our inventory like how much money am i going to make or lose and then in turn once we have these okay well leather fry women's boots go for between 40 and 60 bucks we know we can spend five dollars or ten bucks on them right and we can create these buy lists to give out to people uh, and that's a way you can scale your ebay business and also it helps you if you're just one person it helps you to source a lot faster and so like i know for example if I go into uh, a book sale and they're selling hardcovers for a quarter a piece, I can just buy all of them. And statistically, uh, it'd be very, very unlikely that I'm gonna lose money on those just because uh, of auctions on eBay and also you know, FBA and the percentage on average of garage sales. I mean, obviously there's the option to get burned real bad out there. It hasn't happened to me yet. I, I've bought out probably 25 book sales uh, and it's always been profitable. Same with like CD sales too. Uh, but I want to take that knowledge and apply it to shoes. And so now when we have guys going out to the Salvation Armies in like Fort Wayne, for example, we're not just getting books. We're getting books and shoes and consumer electronics and clothing and everything. And as long as we have this um, qualified, you know, list, this 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 paradigm for buying, it's going to make it all a lot easier. Uh, and so I just wanted to, you know, make a quick video uh, saying, hey, I messed up. You know, everyone messes up. These shoes, I don't know if I can get them fixed or if I can fix them, but I'm pretty sure that no one's going to buy these busted up shoes. And so as I, you know, again, I'm selling more, uh, I'm learning, you know, these these tests. Like, I don't, one of the tests you're supposed to do, you're supposed to push the sole like this to make sure it doesn't crack. Um, you know, I had no idea you should do that. Uh, and so I hope that you can learn with me as I do these things. Um, I will let you know. I'm just going to do one-week auctions. I'm going to San Francisco for my friend's bachelor party. We're going out to Yosemite over the weekend. So I will not know how they do probably uh, until I get back. But rest assured, we're going to try and list 10 shoes. Um, maybe nine because these are kind of fucked up. Uh, but... Nine, nine or ten shoes, um, and I will tell you exactly how much we made, uh, and we'll show you a video of how to package them too. So just a little, little quick, not the most exciting video, but hopefully this content you saw is very helpful, and if it is, remember to like the video, uh, comment below on any questions you have, and then of course, per usual, subscribe because we're going to make so much money.